In this video, I'm going to play with my new toy. I've got a Bluetooth scanner and I've connected it to my iPhone that has Fishbowl Go installed on it. So I just uh, went through and followed these instructions here. It took me about five minutes of, of uh, reading the instructions and, and scanning the barcode. I had Bluetooth turned on. You'll see over here on the right hand side this is the Bluetooth scanner that was connected and it connected by scanning the setup barcode in the instructions. Once I scanned that setup barcode then it came to life and now I've got the Bluetooth scanner connected to Fishbowl Go. Let me bring this up. There we go. You can see that better. Now I've got the the Bluetooth scanner connected to Fishbowl Go and I've got Fishbowl Go mirrored to my um, computer. So you'll see Fishbowl over here. Um, oh, it's trying to connect to my son's speaker that I think might be out in the truck. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't pop up again. So let's play with this, huh? Um, the first thing I want to show is the barcode scanning capabilities. I'm going to tap on Fishbowl Go. Ooh, there we go. So I've got Fishbowl Go on the right hand side of the screen. And this is the iOS format. You'll notice I I've in some other videos I have the Android. It's not a whole lot different. They're very similar. So I'm going to tap on part and I set up a new part in Fishbowl that is this box of envelopes. Okay. So right now if I tap on the part number then scan this UPC Come on. There we go. It'll tell me I have an invalid part because it's not reading the UPC yet. So you'll see on the left hand side of the screen I've got the top flight legal envelopes and I've got a UPC code right here that's blank. And then on the product screen I'll have the top flight envelopes as well and I've got a UPC that's blank. So what we want to do is connect the UPC code to the part number. Okay, so I'm going to come back on my phone, bloop, 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 and delete that UPC and this time I'm going to manually key in the part number, which is 72119. Okay. Tap the edit button. This guy right here is what I tapped. And now we've got the part up. Pretty awesome, huh? It's, so what we want to do next is put the UPC in. So we'll tap UPC and bloop look at that huh and then we'll hit save UPC saved so now it'll either show up here on the product screen or on the part screen if we refresh this there we go and that's I think the easiest way to put the UPC in right unless your customer gives you a list of UPCs or or maybe you've been compiling a list of UPCs over the years. And then here's a cool feature. Look at this. We can take a picture of the part. Now, probably not a picture you want to put on. Um, <laughs> let's, let's give it a, give it an okay background. Let's see. Where is it good? There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm a photographer. 
I'm a photographer. Hit use. Okay. <laughs> Not the worst photo in the world. Obviously, you'll probably want some light box or something. That would be nice. I don't know if you've seen those. Um, photo white box. I've played around with these. These little these little things you put your products in with the white background. You know, you'll probably want something like that. But yeah, isn't that cool? So you can put your picture in. And I thought I saved it. Did we lose it? Let's try it again. Maybe we lost it. We'll go photo. Use photo. Save. Don't forget to save. <laughs> processing image now this is cool this should upload the image to the server there we go so now the image is there then if we go to part and click refresh oh look at that if we go to product I wonder if it's going to be there nope so it's not on product UPC this is all the part this is all the part okay so this, I'm going to tap back to menu. This part, tap on this part right here, will give us some information. Now this time, I'm going to put the cursor in the part and scan the UPC as if it was the part, and voila, it pops up. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Um, so then, if we have inventory, it'll show us some information on this part, right? Currently, it says quantity on hand, zero, available, zero, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if I put some inventory in there, then we'll have some more information. Should we do that? Let's do that. Go to menu, tap on add inventory, and wait for it. I printed out some location barcodes. See that? So your locations want to have barcodes, or your locations need barcodes if, if you want to have an easy time using the mobile device. So I'm going to scan a barcode. Bloop. Now, interestingly, that's not the location name. That's the location tag, which is a database ID. Then we'll scan the part number or the UPC, because now that works. And we'll say, hey, we have, well, let me bring this up. We have 25 of these in stock done now the add inventory feature needs to know the cost i don't know what this was we'll put in five bucks and then um you know a note we can put whatever we want there for the note um we can say first physical count now there's definitely other ways to do a physical count but whatever we're just playing around here right so we'll click return and oh look at that it replaced the location with the tag so that's cool next 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 done okay that's the button we we're looking for at the bottom that this uh, this little guy there that's what I'm gonna tap we'll tap on that and it's processed so we put it in fishbowl. Now if we go back to the part screen, I'm going to tap on that part and put the cursor in the part filled. Scan the part. Bloop! Do you like that beep? And look at that. Down there at the bottom, it now shows 25 parts in that location. So let's see what happens if we put parts in another location. 
I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to go to the ad. Um, I got to go to the ad screen first. So we'll go to. Um, I'll go ahead and blow this up because that's all we're looking at. I'll go to the ad inventory screen, scan a different location, scan the part, put in the quantity in that location. Wants to know the cost. We magically know it. And then tap this symbol down here at the bottom looks like a cycle count symbol so that was processed now let's go back to the part screen and scan the part loop whoops I gotta have the cursor in the part there we go loop and it pulls up the part now we've got 50 in one location let me move that out of the way we've got 50 in one location 25 in the other location. Pretty cool, huh? Join us for more Fishbowl Go videos. I'll play with the other screens too. Today we looked at the ad inventory and the part information screen and we added a UPC. It's pretty awesome. Oh, and I talked a little bit about how I connected this wireless Bluetooth scanner to my new toy All right so wipe the dust off of the toy that you bought from fishbowl hopefully you'll found found some confidence from this video and you can get this thing working get it connected now you might not have a phone you might have a tc 70 or something like that right but it's not a whole lot different don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from Brando Consulting, we'll be coming out with more.